Olmsted clearly was one of the great thinkers of all time, but he stands out both as a 19th century figure and today. Even though he was preceded by other extraordinary people like Capability Brown, what was remarkable to me about Olmsted, and having read quite a bit about his life, was his political awareness um, as well and his sort of sense of timing, you know, and Central Park was just you know, just the right thing, at the right time, in the right place. And Vox, give Vox credit too, if the two of them work together. But that couldn't have happened at a better time. And then learning from that and moving on from that to Prospect Park, which in many ways I think is a more successful landscape than Central Park. The great sheet meadow Prospect Park has to be one of the great spaces in the world. And to you know, build on that reputation and then repeat it without copying yourself, because it's amazingly different, those two places. And as they should be, they're very different geology and they're a very different population. And so it was appropriate. But nevertheless, the fact that they were able to you know, say, oh, we're not just going to give you your own central park, we're giving you something special. So they're pretty amazing people, both of them. <laughs>